next one is the putting practice, and this is the final one too. Novice and uh, intermediate and expert. So, you know, I just noticed I said novice to the approach shots or uh, um, uh, whatever I, in one of the other parts when actually I did the intermediate ones. Uh, okay, I'm going to be just trying to get all the putts here, if I can. <laughs> Um, that, that's basically the best thing that you can do, is just aim to try and get it in the hole. Because um, if you get it in the hole, you know, you don't have to worry about distance too much. Uh, you know, I mean, if it goes in, or hits the cup, it's going to make the speed of the putt die out quite a bit. Alrighty. Uh, as you can see, the ring that you get, uh, that you're aiming for, is pretty small, but these are, these are putts and not approach shots. So it's acceptable. Uh, normally on my putts, I hit pretty far past the hole. I, I hit my putts pretty aggressively, uh, at least in this Mario Golf. So, oh my goodness. <laughs> this is a, kind of a scary putt here. Um, because I hit my putts so aggressively, I, I sometimes won't get inside the red ring, but I did that time. Um, so that's going to be something that I'm at the compensate for. And man, these putts are actually pretty easy here. Uh, but this is the novice level, so to speak. Um, 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 uh, yeah. And boy, you gotta notice something here. Did you notice all the mushrooms and stuff around Peach's course and loads of pipes laying all over the place? I gotta say, she's one bad course groundskeeper. I mean, come on, you won't see those mushrooms going on normal golf courses. You wouldn't see scrap metal and pipes laying around the courses. I mean, come on, people. I could take care of the course better than her. <laughs> Well, that is the end of the novice putting practice. Intermediate is next for the putting. It is, of course, going to get harder and tougher and stronger and harder, better, faster, stronger, whatever. <laughs> uh, like this, for this putt, I'm going to hit just a little bit over the mark because it's up here, 1.3 feet. Um, when I'm hitting a middle putt like that, I usually hit only one or two marks past the mark if it's uphill. Otherwise, I just hit right on the hit right on the mark if I can. <clears throat> um, oh, that's way too much power, so I better hit the hole. Yeah. See that? That's what I'm talking about. Uh, you should always aim to get the putt because even if you overhit the shot, you'll st still uh, have a good chance that the hole will slow down the putt anyway and keep it inside that red ring. This is going to be a pretty easy one. It's a short putt. It's pretty straight. Uh, I remember the expert putts to be pretty dang hard, but I remember a lot of things to be harder than they actually were, so what am I saying? I usually just blaze through the ones that I thought were hard, and the easier ones that I thought were easy, I mean, uh, the easier ones that I thought were easy, as I said there, end up hard for me. I don't know what I'm talking about today. My commentary is bad. Arr. Well, okay, maybe it's not that bad. Um, this, this is downhill quite a bit here. Oh, so close. I guess I should have hit it just one notch harder. Just a tiny bit harder, but uh, I, that's still only one miss out of seven. Well, actually, it was six at the time. Uh, yeah, one notch over because it's about one foot uphill. See that? See that at the top of the screen there? 0.9 feet uphill. That means it's 0.1 uh, less than one foot uphill, and that's overly precise calculations. So I just always do it by so and so many notches on my estimations. And, and ah! one inch for one stroke. <laughs> Don't you just hate that when that happens? It's, it's like you're just so close to the hole, and it just costs you one stroke because of it. What a ripoff. Expert putting is next. And this is the last side game I'm going to be gonna be showing. I don't really think there's much much to show of the game after this. Um, like, I could go through the, um, the coin challenges, or the coin attack mode, whatever you want to call it, but that's basically just going through the courses all over again. I mean, it's common sense to hit near where the coins are on that mode, so it doesn't really pay to show it off in the walkthrough. That's like 
showing way too much footage than, than what is needed. Um, so this one. What? These are expert? These are expert? What the heck? These are not expert. <laughs> this is pathetic. I'm sure there's going to be something harder that's just going to slap me in my face. Uh, downhill 1.5 feet. So I'm going to hit one notch less than I should. I mean, one notch less than what's on the meter that they preset for me. I always like that little preset thing that they put it right on or near where the hole is. Uh, it makes it so I don't have to move it at all, and then I just estimate how many notches past or behind that um, marker that they put over there I'd have to compensate it for. Oh my god! Oh my god! This is quite a putt here. Um, if I don't get this one inside, don't blame me. <laughs> uh, I think it's going to be a pretty good putt. Oh yeah! And that's a pretty tiny uh, landing area there. I'm actually doing pretty decent. Uh, I should say a pretty tiny circle. Oh yeah! Expert putting for the win! I'm doing better than what I did on the intermediate. In fact, I already beat it. <laughs> Seriously, I already beat it. I could miss both these putts and I still beat it. So yeah, now I'm pit putting and there's another one I got in there. And one left to go and that'll be it. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this old walkthrough. I'll see you guys later. I might do a hi highlight reel later. Um, but as for now, that's all. That's all, folks. And all that jazz. Alright, see you later. Doo -doo.